to turn the top part down, uh, the first thing we need to do is to take the big mandrel off the off the lathe and install the smaller one. It's just a matter of one set screw, so it's quite simple to do. Tighten it down again. And then, just like the bottom part, we'll mount this on. That's a nice tight fit. And then we'll bring the tailstock up for additional support. And again, I'll use the same little piece of wood as a buffer. But uh, actually, first, before I do that, I do want to make a little hole in this end just to mark the very center because uh, a hole will get drilled there for the salt to come out and then a series of holes around it so we want to know where the center is and doing it on the lathe is probably the most accurate and easiest way to do it. Hold it. Now I'll put the little piece of wood on like we did with the other part. Rotate it to get it centered. Tighten her down. And install my tool rest. Again, I'll set that just a little below center. And get it as close to it, about a quarter inch or even less. And make sure it's straight against the plane there. And using my roughing gouge again, I'll first turn it into a, uh, a cylinder, get the uh, square edges off it. I think that's going to be it. Yep, yeah, that's it. Okay, from here, we got a little bit of a tricky spot. And that is, we have to shape the bottom edge of it uh, so it'll fit inside here. And what I usually do is first I'll take a, a calipers. This one happens to be a digital caliper, and I'll measure this circumference. And we know we drilled it with a one and a quarter inch drill bit, but it never seems to come out exactly right. This one's pretty close. It's 1.246. So we know we have to turn this down a little bit less than that so it'll fit inside there. And we need to turn it down to five-eighths of an inch and then I'll just line my pencil up against that mark and rotate the, oops, it broke my lid, rotate the lathe around to give me a line. So from here back I'm going to reduce the diameter of that to the size that will fit inside the uh, bottom part. To do that, I'll use a uh, diamond parting tool, which is 3 16 inch width. And before I do that, I will take my skew chisel and I'll just score that line so that when I start with the uh, parting tool, it doesn't chip out onto this section. Then I'll just take the parting tool and uh, it looks like it's set about right. And reduce the, the uh, diameter of that. I'll start on the outer edge. And then work my way uh, I cut As I cut this edge, I'll try to angle it in just a little bit so that the uh, bottom edge of this is actually undercut and that will ensure me a nice flat tight fit to the to the bottom part because it will be sloped down that way so the edges will touch before anything else and it will give a nice nice flat cut. I'm just going to take a measurement and see how close we're getting. I, I know I have a ways to go yet. You can always take a little off but you can't put it back on. <laughs>
That should do it right there. Now it's just a matter of leveling the rest of this tenon down to the level that I cut that, that end piece. Now we're, we're, we're even across. So that part of it's done. 